It's five in the morning and we are going, where are we doing today? We're going spearfishing. Well, you are. We're going spearfishing for Wahoo with the four real charters. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Too early to speak. You know what? I'm just going to pop it on the screen here. But if you're ever in Key Largo or Isla Mirada and you want to catch big fish offshore or go spear fishing, I'll link him in the... But I think we need to make a coffee. Mm, pretty kitty. About to get my first sip of coffee in for the morning. I think I'm gonna shoot a wahoo right in the face today. <laughs> All right, it is six o'clock now, and Scott asked me to pick up two boxes of frozen sardines. So we're here at Captain Pete's Pro Shop. They're open nice and early, so we're gonna run in and get ourselves some bait. Well, I didn't just get two boxes, I got three boxes of sardines. Yee haw! Mm hmm. I met a few people in there that watch my channel. I was wondering if that's what was going on. I was like, this is taking way too long to do. Yeah, you know, I had to sign some autographs. <laughs> Ready, let's go. All right, just some driving on the road. Driving, driving, driving. We've reached our destination. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is. It's a pretty day. It's a beautiful morning out here in Isla Mirada, Florida, and we're here with Scott and Ryan with four real charters. Four real charters. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna try and spear a wahoo. We got uh, prefrontal conditions, so big fronts coming in tomorrow. You can even see it over there, but uh, this is the window. This is when we get them. That's All right. I got majorly fingers crossed right now. Yeah. Beautiful morning so far. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Destination reached. Time to put on our, our wetsuits. Time to get freezing. I get a little cold. Yeah. So I'm staying in the boat. I always wear a wetsuit because I get cold easily. We call there. this going through the birth canal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a new man. <laughs> okay, so stay close to the So like I should be able to see the flasher? Oh yeah. Okay. You'd probably even be able to hang on to it. I mean that's where the fish are gonna come up at. You know, just stay together, have a good time. No worries and have fun. Exactly. That's what it's about. Cheers. Right, go ahead. Bye. Kingfish? Yeah. Ha <laughs> <Yeah>. ha, Nice. <laughs> Did you see there was like a school of like five? Damn, no. I'm gonna look around. Kingfish. Look at that. It's mackerel shaped. What? 
It's Wahoo shaped rather. <laughs> Fish. That was the Fish. farthest shot I've ever taken. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Looking fish. Awesome. Good start. It's Wahoo shaped. <laughs> Not a Wahoo though. We're getting it. We're getting it. Good fish. I got footage of a big shark came up to me. That was nice. Right now we're looking for cleaner water. Cruising around. Hopes are high. Hopes are high. Hopes are high. Always high. Shoot for the stars. Shoot for their eyeballs. Here we go. No mercy this time. Crazy. Yeah. All right, we're driving back home. Had a really good time. It was cold and the water was a little murky so the conditions were not optimal but Scott did shoot a kingfish and they're letting us take it home so I'm gonna go home right now fillet it on up we'll brine it and then we'll throw it on the Traeger tomorrow make ourselves some smoked kingfish mm. and we also are making some sail fishing plans with Scott and Ryan so that should be a real good episode anyways let's make some fish hey buddy Kitty stoked we're back. Are you happy we're home? Kitty, you want some kingfish? Look who showed up. Hey, buddies. We'll fillet the guy. We want to cut basically into his head, get all that meat. Um, okay. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty's like the star of the show. You like him? Kitty loves mackerel. You know what I just realized? We didn't bleed this guy out. Totally forgot to do that. You know, for not having bled him out, the meat looks all right. Kitty, come here, kitty. Look at you him, know, he's so excited. <laughs> His first kingfish. All right. Kitty just goes and smashes the plate. Kitty, here, you can have this. I'll just finish flying the rest of this guy. Yeehaw. Okay, simple brining process. Get yourself a bin. Mix yourself a brining solution. In this case, two cups of salt, two cups of brown sugar, and two cups of white sugar, all mixed up. Put down your first layer of beautiful, delicious looking kingfish. Wow. All right, get down your first layer, and then we're just gonna kind of just cover it with sugar, salt, Okay, put on the final layer. I left the skin on, by the way, if you can't tell. <laughs> and then we'll just put the rest of the sugar right on top of all this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. 
That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, good job. Cover that up. We're going to put this in the fridge overnight, and then tomorrow we'll throw them on the trigger, on the smoker. Tomorrow. Okay, it's been 24 hours of brining, and look at that juicy brine sauce. Now we're just going to wash the excess sugar off of each piece. You don't want that sugar on there. There we go. And we'll go and just wash the sugar off of every single piece. Put them on a plate. When they're on the plate, you just kind of want to pat them dry just a touch. You don't want them soaking wet. Now we'll do that for everything. Bam! And there we go. All of our kingfish washed down and patted dry. To the Traeger we go. This should be smoking any second, but we'll go ahead and lay the fish on already. Oh, here comes the smoke. You yeah. see it? Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm using mesquite wood, by the way. Okay. I put the skin side facing down on the grill plates. There we go. Now we're gonna smoke these for about two hours. Bam. So the Traeger is smoking the kingfish at uh, at around like 180 to 200 degrees, two hours. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on the boat and check our stone crab traps. That's a good way to pass the time. So come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> These are our stone crab tongs. That's how you pick up a mean crab. All aboard! Pimp juice. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, girl! A plus. This girl knows how to scoop stone crab traps. <laughs> You just Wait, lay it hands. down. All right, we got oh, we got some. Stuff in here, yep. Oh yeah, there, I see a keeper in there already. Oh, he, hello. This one doesn't have any claws. Oh man. That's two keepers. Three. Holy f baby. Hmm. Look how big he is. Fat boy. You see that? Yeah, it's a good one. I want him to stretch his claws out. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like I don't. I think we need to take some pictures. <laughs> That's a big boy right there. Dare you to put your finger in there. Something like that. We'll just take the knife and we pop it right in here and he'll, he'll, he'll kick his claw off. Like, just watch this. Whoops. Exactly what not to do. And for this claw, we'll just do the same thing. Just shove the knife right in here, and he will drop himself. Actually, the best way, we'll do this over the water. That way, when he lets himself go, watch this. Come on. Bam, just like that. Pops himself off. Two nice claws. Unreal, that was huge. Right off. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! Oh, now, there is one crab in here that's already missing both of his claws. As you can see, when you take both their claws, they're still healthy, they still eat, they still grow, good to go. And uh, I always have to say this, FWC encourages the removal of both claws if they're both legal. That's a legal claw, 100%. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> nice grab. Look grown up. Couple babies. What we got in there? We got one keeper claw out of that, but we got something funny here. You see this treble hook in here? You see this treble hook in here? Somebody caught our trap and had to cut their line. 
it's a stinger to somebody's copying my rigs and taking my spots. <laughs> all right, we've checked all five traps. We got four decent claws. We're currently driving through our secret hunting grounds back here. But let's go home and uh, eat some food. The smoked fish should be done, right? The smoked fish should be done in 13 minutes. We better get home. Full speed. Okay. Fish is done smoking. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all of the fish into a bin here. Holy smokedoni. Yeah. This right here is what I call liquid gold. I'm just kidding, that's what I call beer. This right here is fish gold. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna take all the fish off of the grill, store it in a container, and then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna show you my favorite way to eat smoked kingfish. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I hear, I hear something walking around in the backyard. Let's go find out what it is. Oh my God. I don't know if y'all saw that, but there's, there's a possums out here. Lots of them. The following day. It's in the morning and it's breakfast time. And this is how we eat smoked fish. By the way, Check out the new South Florida Fishing Channel shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out the back. Yeah, let me see the back. That's my favorite. Bam! Oh, what? What kind of fish is that, Caitlin? Mm -hmm. Sweet art. It's a mutton snapper. Okay, good, good job. I Sm know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Just testing me, I get it. We got a piece <laughs> of bread toasted here. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna let it toast a little bit longer. We're gonna take a piece of smoked fish and we're gonna peel the uh, skin off of it. I've actually had some people tell me they prefer leaving the skin on, but it just oh, it peels right off. Okay. yeah, the skin comes right on off. Then what I like to do is kind of like break it up a bit like this. Not totally break it up, but just like that. Take out our slice of bread. Ooh, nice, warm, and toasty. Take some butter. I love butter. So the butter just came out of the fridge, so it's not gonna spread, unfortunately. I'll try my best here. You know how they say, Caitlin. What? Mo butter, mo better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll just slap on a nice piece of smoked fish right on here. Like that. See that? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. The butter is what get, makes it real good. Hmm. That with a cup of coffee. Hmm. Mm. Oops. Mm. And that's how you pull a fish from the sea and eat it. Want to give another huge thanks for Scott and Ryan for taking me out. Definitely make sure you hit those guys up. Their number is right here at the bottom of the screen. That boat we were out on today is just their personal boat. They got a nice big CV, the JL audio boat out of Worldwide Sportsman in Isla Mirada. I think next week I'm planning to do a sailfish fishing trip with them. So that should be a good one. If you book a charter with them, let me know and uh, I might even be able to join you guys, whether it's offshore fishing, deep dropping, trolling, spear fishing, or whatever you guys wanna do. If you wanna help support the channel, check out some of the merchandise on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. If you go on the homepage and scroll to the bottom, I'm gonna start listing all the new shirts for sale on there. All my fishing rigs are on there too. Every time you place an order on my site, you're definitely helping me out so I can make more videos just like this one. Cheers guys, and thank you for watching. Thank you.